Good morning, gents and ladies and everyone that watches ASFN Fishing. We thank you for your support. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button to receive notifications each time we upload a video. And like the videos, it really helps us. Now. It's a real privilege to welcome one of our new supporters, Chint, the market leading electrical brand, distributed by CED. Consolidated Electrical Distributors in Joburg area and then in the Natal area, Alpha and Omega Investments headed up by Kumaran Ganesh, a salted and very keen angler. We thank you guys for the support. It's great having you on board. And uh, guys, these are the guys supporting us in bringing you as much content as possible and sharing as much as possible. So any electrical needs you have, have a good lookout for Chint. And guys, like I said, for any trade inquiries, KZN Eastern Cape area, contact Alpha and Omega Investments and have a chat to Kumaran. You can also have some fishing chat when talking to him. And then in the Joba Gauteng area, the CED, Consolidated Electrical Distributors. Guys, welcome and thank you for your support. So we're here um, all the way up in the Transkai here at Mpami and we have the wonderful Bulls Inn uh, Lodge. Uh, absolutely stunning place, perfect fisherman's paradise. Uh, yeah, so we've got Cameron here with us. Cameron's accommodating us for, for a whole week. So Cameron, thank you very much for having uh, it's us. It's a pleasure, it's nice to have you guys here. And uh, yeah, so Cameron's going to put us on the fish this week. Uh, we, we got a whole lot of plans, so let's hope that everything uh, falls into place. We're going to do a bit of boat fishing, we're going to do some rock and surf, and we're going to be targeting a lot of edible fish. So Cameron, um, tell us more about your place. Well, uh, Bulls Inn, uh, the name Bulls Inn comes from uh, my father. He, um, he came down here 30 years ago, 31 years ago, and um, he's, he was called Bull Edwards. He was a junior Springback rugby player. Okay. And that's where the name comes from. His his nickname was Bull Edwards, so uh, Bull. So that's why I just named um, the, the Bulls large Bull. Bull. Yeah, the oh, large was called footy. after him. Um, he was actually buried. Yeah, his grave was on top of the hill. That's his grave up there. So I've been here now 20 years. My wife and I. Been, it's a lovely place to stay. It's paradise. And I don't wish to stay anywhere else. Yeah, well, right now I think a lot of people in South Africa envy you because yeah, you're in no, this pristine coastline with, with, well, I believe there's so much of fish here. And uh, so, so Cameron, what, what sort of species are we looking at catching uh, off the boat or off the side? Well, off the side, it depends on what the time of the year, but this time there's a lot of cob around, there's uh, uh, the, the pig nose, uh, a lot of pig nose. Um, there's always shared around, there's always uh, garrick. Um, and the bluefish, the uh, bronze bream, what, whatever you call them. It, it's just, certain people call them different, give them different names. Yeah. Um, and of course the, the black tail, the rock odds, they all yeah, to full up. Uh, the structure, the structure of the reef is very, very ragged and I think that's where the, 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 the that's why Abundance of fish. Abundance yeah. of fish, yeah. yeah. So, you know, we've caught over the years Plenty yellow tail. There's even been a while who caught off the rocks here. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, there's been yellowfin tuna caught off uh, Bolompo Point, which is three kilos from us. Okay. Uh, off Table Rock. Um, years back, a guy called Keith Armour hooked a marlin off there with a, with fishing with a balloon. So yes, and then uh, lo last year they, they they caught a marlin on paddle ski off the um, Bolompo Point in 15 meters of water. Yes. 150 kg marlin, um, trolling with a, a live mackerel. Yeah. Um, so obviously, lots of different species, and I'm excited because mm. I mean, there's a couple of fish that I haven't caught, which is a pig nose. Uh, I want to catch a black cracker. I'll try to catch it off the side, but I know that we're going to go with Cameron mm. off the boat, and we're going to go and uh, purposely target the cracker and maybe a copper if there's not much current. Well, there's, there's a lot of lot of lot of black that have been caught black cracker uh, being caught off the the rocks. There's certain 
certain areas in Bolombo Point for one of them at night, but the evening or early morning. The yeah. tracker and during the day, uh, very far and few between, but yeah, early hours of the morning yeah. or up until or late at night. You know? So guys, when you're ever in the area, if you want to come down to Transkai and you want to venture out close to Hole in the Wall and the Mpami area, come and visit Cameron at Bulls Inn. I mean, he's an awesome guy. I've just got to know him now and he's so accommodating and so friendly. And uh, he's given me so much of advice already on what to do in the area. It's new to me. I have fished here before, but not, not much. So local knowledge is the best. So yeah, we're going to head out now to Bolombo and we're going to have a nice afternoon session into the night. We're going to look for cob um, in the afternoon. Now we're going to scratch around from, for some bronze bream and some quarantine for bait for later on. Alright guys, so we're here at one of the popular spots in Mpami, a uh, spot called Mbolompo Point. Probably one of, the, one of the best fishing points in South Africa. The wind's really blowing now. Um, it's a south wind. And uh, just as we could, just standing on the top here, there's a huge shoal of yellowtail about 250 meters off the point here. It's just, there's, there's schooling, it's massive, massive shoal of fish. Looks like yellowtail. But they're obviously a bit far, far from casting range. So the point's looking good though, water is very clean. So I don't know, we may have a throw here, we'll check now, it's gonna chat to the guys. Uh, you can fish for a shark here, but that's, that's not why we came. Uh, there's a chance of catching a yellow tail here as well. So uh, I think we, we may put a bait here, let's see. So yeah, the spot and tide's nice pushing now. Uh, lovely spot. Lots of reef, scattered reef in the water. So we're gonna look for some bronze bream, and then obviously they they should come in the push now. And there's been quite a bit of uh, um, cracker around, but not black cracker, the white cracker. So we're gonna look for a white mussel cracker as well. We don't have we have some okay baits. So uh, there's a lot of smaller fish around. That's fine, eh? we'll take any cracker that we can right now. So, yeah, I think, I think it looks all right. Eh? We're quite sheltered from the, from the south wind that's blowing. Um, if you look on the other side, we've got Coffee Bay on the other side. Uh, that's hole in the wall. And we've got a nice big bay on this side. So even if the wind starts to cast a little bit more, we can move a little bit into the bay and fish for some stuff there as well. So I'm gonna fish a little bit heavier for the cracker. And then for the bronze beam, I've got my 12 foot 6 with 15 pound braid and just messing around here off the ledges in the front. Bronze beam trace done. So, standard bronze beam trace, I've got a 3 ounce sinker, got a chinu hook, two float, double hook trace. Uh, so, that's standard bronze beam. Bait. Um, one of our guys that are with us went and dived some uh, crayfish, so we got some nice fresh crayfish. So we're gonna use that, and then uh, we got some cracker shrimp and we got some prawn, pink prawn. Uh, so all top top baits for bronze bream. So we're gonna go with a bit of uh, crayfish first. So guys, what I've noticed with the bream is also try not to put too much of cotton. Just keep it as minimal as you can. Try and keep the bait nice and soft and fluffy. And uh, that's the crayfish done. And I'm just gonna line that with some cracker. So, piece of cracker there. This is a bit of a biggish bait. I don't want to try to obviously keep away from the peckers. So we'll cover it there. And then if there's some peckers, they'll peck around and hopefully a bream comes and grabs it. 
So let's put that there. Nice cracker. And then you'll be surprised while you're fishing for bronze brim, those uh, muscle cracker come and jump on your bait. Eh? Okay, the bottom one I'm going to do the same. Oh, in fact, just let's just put a ping prawn. So that's what you want from the ping prawn. That. Uh, Go. Cut that open. Hook. So you want this? That's inside the head. So don't don't just break the head and throw it away. Fold it in and cotton that on. Sometimes I use a toothpick on my hook shank just to stop it from curling up nice to keep the bait nice and straight just gonna add a piece of clay in the side a little bit of clay nice and broad that's my bronze cream bait perfect so cracker and crayfish and prawn and some cray okay so we're getting there slowly <laughs> Yeah, first fish here in Empami, little black tail while fishing for bronze cream. So there's lots of them around here. So I just hit the water and that thing just jumped on that bait quickly. Yeah? We're going to keep him in the pool for a live bait later on. Another one, so that's bait. Decided not to keep it for bait, we're gonna put this back. Two little black tail. The one not bad, so not a bad size. So yeah, no bronze bream. Uh, we're gonna go and head off from Palmy Point now and we're gonna it's almost four o'clock, so it's obviously cop time. So we're gonna go and fish, try and fish for a cop quickly off from Palmy. And then yeah, let's hope we get a bite. Okay, we're gonna go and try throw a paddle tail now. Maybe look see if we can't get a cob in this white water here. Quickly. I'm gonna throw it on my bigger rod. Trying something different today. A 15 foot rod with my Salters 5000. I've got 20 pound braid on here. I'm gonna try. Let's see if it works on a, on a bigger 15 foot rod. Obviously, you need some leverage to pull the cob over here. So, this might work. Let's try. So we are of Sharpies, Sharpies Beach yeah? and uh, we're going to fish for some cob on the beach. Unfortunately all our live bait died. So we're going to be targeting cob on bait. They seem to eat, eat bait here yeah, in this area a lot. Chaka baits and chaka and red eye. So, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Super fresh red eye. I caught uh, off the boat in Richards Bay yesterday. We've got great bait. I just teach to you find the fish. Nothing fancy, guys. Just normal chaka and red eye. I've got a little tentacle there. I used this bait earlier. 
just using the same bait again, just soften it up a bit. Okay guys, so Kuro just got a lovely big shad now, uh, fishing for cob, his first throw. Uh, well done Q, good fish. Short tank, there. What bait? Uh, choker, two choker strips. Just two choker strips, eh? Yeah. Beauty. Lucky to not get bitten off then. <laughs> Straight nylon. Straight nylon. Lovely. Short nice tank, Kuro. Guys. Thanks guys. Now it was like a quarantine fillet bait which I got this on. Got a black tail here guys. On uh, choco strips again. Solid fish. I think it's my personal best black tail. Short thanks. Okay guys, so Day one of the trip to Mpami is done. Uh, quite a challenging day. Uh, I think the first day is always the most difficult because you're still finding your feet in a new area. So, yeah, and we had a bit of a late start in the morning. So we struggled. Uh, Vis got a few fish on, uh, he shot some fish this morning. And then we got a few smaller edibles here and there, no cop. Um, now we fished a session off a beach close by. And uh, Q and got two good shad. Uh, one was probably three, four kilos, and a black tail as well. So, yeah, just just lots of smaller scratching fish. So, we're gonna have an early start tomorrow morning. Uh, we're gonna head again looking for a cracker and bronze bream, and then later on again for cob. So, yeah, see how it goes. But so far, challenging day, very challenging.